early on when the vaccines were rolled out, I think the, the public health authorities and the FDA wanted there to be some separation between the COVID vaccine and other vaccines, mainly so adverse reactions were not confused. Uh, and also they didn't know if it could impact efficacy. I think at this point, there's so much data on the, on the safety and the side effects that if an individual is in a situation where they need to get a COVID vaccine and a flu vaccine, it's fine to do that. Um, as always, we encourage flu vaccines. Um, you know, now, now that we're back to more masking uh, because of the Delta variant, maybe we'll see less flu this year. One of the truly extraordinary things that happened last year was no, no flu, no influenza. And it's remarkable. Uh, and, and I think it's all due to masks. And uh, there is, it's unequivocal that the, the public health measures, which also include social distancing, but primarily masking, led to a no flu season last year, a no influenza season, which has never happened before. And it was quite extraordinary.